and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make this deckle edge style place card and I'm going to be showing you how to make this from start to finish. And today I'm using watercolour paper to make this and this is the watercolour paper that I've chosen. Um, this is actually really really cheap you can get more expensive watercolor paper than this and thicker paper than this as well um, but this is absolutely fine as, as far as I'm concerned it still creates a really nice effect so this watercolor pad is A4 in size so this is the standard UK printer size um, if you're in America then you would be looking for uh, eight and a half by 11 inches watercolor paper. If you can't find it exactly at, at that size, you can buy it slightly larger and just trim it down to size so it will fit in your printer as a standard US letter size. Okay, so I'm gonna start off as I usually do. So this is using a template. Um, the template is one that you can buy from Etsy. This particular one is one that I sell, but you can find loads of different styles on Etsy if you're looking for something different um, and what you're looking for when you buy the template is one that um, says that you edit it on template.com and what happens is that you buy the template on Etsy and then template or there's another site as well called Cordial they send you an email with a link to your template and this is what it looks like when you open it um, and you've got your template in front of you and it's really great because you can add and remove as many extra names as you need to. Um, you can change the font style and the font size, the colour. Um, on this particular template you can even move the uh, leaf illustrations around as well if you want it to look slightly different. And things are always changing with weddings so if you get more guests um, then you can just go back and add more later on if you want to and just download it again um, so it's it's really flexible that way and that's why I recommend um, using a template because it's all the, the size that you need it to be you don't have to faff around with downloading any extra software you don't have to download any more fonts um, or anything like that or use uh, Word or, or, or anything as I'm going to show you now it's just really easy to do so I'm just going to go ahead and show you um, how to make another name in this if you want to add some more names so I'm just clicking on duplicate page and what that will do is make an exact copy of the page that I'm on and I can change the name on this one to groom and then I'm just going to put these illustrations and send them to the back so they're not in front of my letters so I'm just going to send to back on each of these ones and then I can get hold of the letter G and highlight it and then I go up to that curly G at the top of the page there and that stands for glyph and what that means is that I can put those fancy curly letters um, on the beginning on the end of the name so I just click on the one that I want to replace it so the G and do the same for the M okay so that switches it over for the nice curly letter for the beginning and the end okay so once I'm happy with the placement of everything I can go ahead and um, click on download now I've, I've only got three names on here um, but if you had more 20 30 40 you know whatever number that you need it will download all of them to um, single pages and to do that you need to click on show trim marks so you've got some guidance on, on where to tear click on save paper 
the size of the paper that you're printing on and all pages and then click on download Okay, so this is what it looks like when you've downloaded the PDF and you open the PDF in um, Acrobat Reader, which is free, you don't have to pay for it. And I'm printing on my home inkjet printer. So the settings that I'm going to use um, is I'm printing an actual size and it's in portrait and I'm going into the properties and it might look slightly different for you depending on your computer or your printer um, but you need to go in these extra settings and choose matte photo paper or the equivalent I'm not printing on photo paper but what this means is is that the printer is going to print a better quality than if you just chose um, standard paper um, if you're printing on vellum then you can use semi-gloss and the print quality has always got to be on the highest setting that you've got. Um, my paper size is A4 and I click OK so I've left it on semi-gloss there but I'm printing on watercolour paper so you, you do want to choose matte paper not, not glossy. Okay, so just a, a, a word about the printer that I'm using. It's an inkjet printer and I'm using a top-down printer which means that the paper goes in the top and it comes through straight through the bottom. So um, the printers that you can get where you put the paper in the front, um, it should be fine for this thickness of watercolour paper but for anything thicker, if you want a, you know, a thicker card, the, if you put the paper in the front it has to curl round and come back out the front whereas the one that I'm using where you put the paper in the top it comes pretty straight through and out, out through the front so if you haven't got a printer and you're thinking of making lots of stationery that might include using thicker paper or card um, I would suggest buying one where the the paper goes in the top and comes out of the front like this one. Um, if you've got a printer already where the, the paper goes in the front, um, you could always buy a small amount and just have a trial and see how it goes through your printer. Okay, so once it's printed out, it will look like this. And um, you can see I've got some guidelines on here. The thing is with the guidelines is that when you start tearing away the edges of the paper, the guidelines start tearing away as well. So I just like to take a pencil and um, I'm going to draw it a little bit darker on here for your benefit to see. Uh, but you want to just lightly mark out some pencil lines so you've got a, a nice guideline when you start tearing the paper away. So I've got my nice green Encanto pencil here, thanks to my seven-year-old, thank you. Um, and I'm going to mark a very light green, mark vertically rather than horizontally. So you've only got to do four lines if you do it vertically. If you try and do it horizontally, you've got like twice as many. So I'd recommend doing the vertical lines. Okay, so I've just um, cut ahead here to actually tearing the paper. So you want to use um, a good thin ruler and you're tearing the paper towards the ruler and you can make it look as neat or as rough as you want. So the tighter you pull that paper towards the ruler, the smoother and neater your edge is going to be. You can pull away more loosely if you want more of a messy edge. It's up to you. When you start tearing away the paper you'll get a feel for how you want it to look and the best way of achieving that. So 
I'm just following those guidelines now that I've drawn on. So as you can see, the printed guidelines are nowhere to be seen. And this is where the guidelines come in handy that you've um, drawn on with your pencil. Okay, so um, just jumping ahead here, what I love about this technique is that you have um, each place card here looks unique um, and I just really love this, the style of it, especially with the, the leaf and the hand drawn um, pencil drawing of the leaf underneath, it just makes a really nice um, rustic relaxed look. And also, once you've done this, and it doesn't take long, as you can see, it's, you know, apart from my stupid nails slowing me down, it's really like an afternoon's work, really, an afternoon and an evening. You could get plenty of these done. And it's something to be proud of and something that you've, you know, probably saved quite a bit of money on by doing it yourself. So this is the finished product and I think that no one would guess that you'd done this yourself. It looks really pretty. Okay so thanks for watching. Um, please click like if you enjoyed it and subscribe. I will be adding lots more tutorials for um, vellum wraps, uh, invitations, everything you need for your event. So if you're planning on doing it yourself, then please subscribe and you'll get all my new videos.